So how should we approach backup? And how should we approach backup of both our local files and our online files as well? The general rule with backups is called the three, two, one rule. Three different backups or you know, three different places where your data is stored, at least two locations or two different types of media or medium where it's stored. And at least one of those is offsite or in a different place. So how do we approach that for your local files on your computer? Honestly, my preference is to pretty much back everything up into Google Drive. I've got Google Drive set up on all of my computers. I download the app to my computer, which allows me to synchronize my Google Drive up and down to the computer. But there's a little known feature inside of Google Drive, which actually lets you back up more than just what's in your actual Google Drive online on the web. You can synchronize other folders and other files from your computer hard drive into Google Drive. And those files and folders will show up online as my computers. This is not really a known feature, but this feature allows you to basically have your local files on your computer backed up to your Google Drive using your Google Drive storage. So let me show you how it works. So when I download and install the Google Drive app, it can allow me to connect it to a number of different accounts. So you can see I've got it connected to multiple email accounts that I have, and that's gonna bring down my Google Drive to this computer. You can see here on the left hand side of my finder window, I happen to be on a Mac at the moment, I can open up my Google Drive here, it's going to show me my my drive, it's going to show me my shared drives, and I can pretty much access anything that I would see if I was sitting in my drive on the web. So here's my my drive, got everything I need in there, zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Okie dokie. So let's go back to my Google Drive app here. And you can see here, I've got the option to synchronize my stuff from Google Drive. You can see here, I've chosen the option to stream files, which means that a copy is on the cloud always, but only what I need gets downloaded to my computer. In the past, when we had Dropbox and in the early days of Google Drive, you would do something called selective sync. And you would have to choose tick boxes. And with those tick boxes, you would choose, do I want this folder, do I not want this folder? Do I want this folder, do I not want this folder? That becomes a bit of a pain in the butt. So what Google did is they used a number of different technologies and they created this cool way of accessing your files called streaming. Whereas if I want to open my Google Drive via the uh, Finder here, I can open my shared drives and I can see everything in my company. I can open up the Attract folder, which is our marketing team. And I can, well, I can even go in and have a look at some of our content here. So I can jump into my, my content and see all the videos that I've recorded this year. And if I decide to open up one of those videos, I can see all of the subfolders and there's, uh, you know, editing that my team have been doing. I've even got right down to the individual videos and files uh, that I can see right here. Now you can see there's a little cloud icon next to each one of these. If I want to access this file, I can double click on the file and it's automatically going to start downloading that on the fly. It's going to take potentially a couple of moments, a few moments if it's a couple of gigabytes, but if it's something here that's just like 55 megabytes, I can double click that. It's going to download it on the fly and then open that file for me. Now I'm uh, going to close that straight away. Otherwise it's going to get weird with some extra feedback happening, but you get the idea there. And that is what streaming is. So that file stream from Google's cloud down to your computer means that you've got access to all of your files, all of your folders. You don't have to worry about what's synchronized and what's not synchronized and you can just access it easily. Now I've gone on a bit of a tangent, but I think this is important for you to understand why this stream feature is so useful. Uh, the other cool thing you can do, of course, if you wanna have more of these files available offline, you can right click on a folder and choose to make it available offline and anything included in that folder is gonna be automatically downloaded. And you can see here, luckily I've got a pretty fast internet connection. It's gonna get through these pretty quick, but it's gonna start downloading these different files and I'll always have them available. In fact, I'm gonna switch that back to online only because I have zero use for any of those. <laughs> videos and I'll leave them online. So now you know how streaming works, let's look at backing up our local machine. So here I can choose backup folders that I wanna have backed up. And let's say for example, I wanna back up everything that's sitting in my pictures folder on my computer. You can see here, it's found a whole bunch of pictures. It's saying, all right, we're gonna synchronize with Google Drive. It does also give me the option to back them up to Google Photos as well. So if I wanna to choose to back them up to Google Photos, it'll automatically back them up to Google Photos. I'm gonna go ahead and say done and say save. And that one is gonna do its thing. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Now that should happen pretty quickly. These are not huge files. 
I can see that Google Drive is whirring away there, getting all those files uploaded and synchronized. It's moving pretty quickly, which is pretty cool. And then when I go to my Google Drive online on the web, you'll see here on the left-hand side, I can see computers. And from computers, we've got, looks like a couple of different versions of my iMac here, that's okay. So I can see pictures here and I can jump in and see any of those pictures. Now probably won't open, the, but let's open up one of, here we go, my profile photo. That's probably the safest one we got there. Great, okay, cool. So uh, all of these files are backed up. Now, if I wanted to, I can uh, point that Google backup at my whole hard drive. I can point it at my C drive or my D drive or your, your Mac hard drive, whatever your hard drive is called. And that's gonna do a pretty good job of backing up absolutely everything. It's not gonna back up every single system file because some of them are like cache files, some of them are system files, some of them are in use, but it's gonna back up pretty much everything. It's gonna snoop and grab all your photos. It's gonna grab all the random files you got hanging around the different folders. So you can trust that it's gonna do a pretty good job. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.